Hey, what's up? It's Taylor. Uh, today, my brother had messaged me last night to tell me uh, he wanted me to meet him up at our work this morning. Now, it's Monday, it's Labor Day, we don't have work, so uh, he wanted me to come and bring my drone with me because a fellow he had met with a purple Hellcat that some of you may know the channel he's from. It's Family Cruisin'. Uh, I'll put the information down below for him if you're not aware of who he is, but he's, uh, he's a fairly nice guy. I met him over the weekend, and he's got this Hellcat Challenger, and it's like a 1,000 horsepower. So my brother told me, meet up at work. I'll be there with the GT500. He'll be there with the uh, Hellcat, and there's another guy coming, but he wouldn't tell me who it is, so I'm not sure who the fourth person is. And, uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm on my way there right now. But uh, let's uh, keep on driving, and we'll meet back up when we get uh, to the building. All right, so we're at work now, uh, pulling around the corner. Let's see if anybody's here yet. Anybody? I'm not seeing anybody unless they're parked on the side of the building. And there is exactly nobody here yet. So either my brother lied to me, or uh, this is a big joke, or they're just a little late because it's 7.57, they still got a couple minutes before they all have to get here. So let's just uh, park here and wait for them to show up, and hopefully they do soon. special guest that my brother did not tell me about is not only the Shocker Racing, Shocker Racing Porsche, but also the white Hellcat down on the end. And uh, that's another uh, friend of Paul with the purple Hellcat. His name's Steven. He also has a ZL1, so that's actually what my brother thought he was bringing today, but he brought the Hellcat instead. So it's pretty nice. Got a Hellcat and a ZL1. But yeah, we're going to go, uh, I think we're going to swap cars and see uh, how each other likes driving the other car that, uh, you know, cars that maybe we haven't driven before because I've never driven a Hellcat and Paul offered, so I think I'm going to take him up on that. But we got a nice little display of colors here. So let's uh, hop in the car and go for a cruise. All right, we're going to uh, first take a drive in the white one, the 6 b Hellcat. Totally stock car, just has window tints and uh, some other things, you know, appearance-wise, but totally stock car. Uh, I think we got the red keys, so let's head on in and go for a spin. All right, so we're going to head out. Jordan's in the purple one, and uh, Paul's in the blue uh, Shelby. We'll like bring it closer to me. Oh uh, yeah, just the knob on the left. You can either up, down, towards you. Oh, it's power. Yeah, okay. it's power. How's this thing smooth? This is like. ZL1, I mean, I love the sound because the ZL1's so quiet. But yeah. Well, the, the ZL1, you got to get on you, for it to make any noise. This has an open air box, though, doesn't it? Yeah. The ZL1 has a lid on it, I think, though. It's not the. Because his Shelby's like, his Shelby's got the, the filter just like seals with the hood. Or 16? 16. I gotta help it. 
deal on it. A hell of a deal on it. At eight miles. Yeah, I got it. I, I got it. Uh, I bought it in um, April. Oh, okay. And I only got, I think I got 2,600 2, miles on it. Huh. The ZL1, I got like 2,500 miles on it too. And that was the first 1,500 miles. I mean, I drove it as, as much right just away to as through, just uh, to get through that. Because it was, I mean, it's, there's nothing. That's a terrible feeling. You, know? <laughs> you got that car, <laughs> everyone next to you. I need to buy me one of these. <laughs> Probably use though. So now these are technically cloth seats, right? Yeah, it's not up to And they're vented too, and they're AC and all that kind of stuff, huh. which is great. I just, I could bought, I mean, I was looking for this specific car. Everything, it took me a while to find one, uh, yeah. how I wanted it. I wanted it stick, I wanted the seats like this. It's like shocking that it was available, but there's one available. Yeah. There's everything. I wanted the black hood, which I knew though. I would. You can do the black hood yourself. You know what I mean? If, yeah. I that, that wasn't a. Whatever. That wasn't a deal breaker. Is it vinyl or is it paint? That's painted. Oh, that's painted. Okay. The CL1 is the uh, carbon, carbon fiber. fiber. a car like this yeah it's bound to you yeah. know I mean you should put a, a stronger clutch in I think but. yeah hmm. Gosh, I think idle so smooth yeah I never know that it's I just, I just had it and even if you even thing. if you rev it it sounds good for a stock yeah you know yeah so his Shelby was that way too from the factory. It was like when he brought it home, got it, and I heard it. I was like, this thing sounds like it has an exhaust system on it already, but like, not, it just, it's not too loud, but it's right. just the right sound. I was supposed to buy the LSA blower, and I made a video. I made a video after I like. PayPal him part of the money, like teasing it, like, all right, I'm doing something big with the car, you know, stay tuned, everybody's, you know, you're gonna like what I'm doing, this isn't a clickbait, I'm definitely doing something with the car. Well, then, uh, after I posted the video and everything, uh, like a week later is when he's like, all right, so I can't sell you that blower, but if you want the Whipple, I'm like, son of a bitch, I'm like, well, you know what, at least it's different because I'm in this Chicago Holding Connection group that's like 100 people with cars like mine, and there's probably five or six guys that have uh, LSAs in their car. I'm like, so I'll be the first guy with the Whipple, and that'll be that. So, yeah. it worked out, but it was just a, just so crappy when he messages me, like, so That's bad nice. news. I'm like, I know, I'm like, 
roped into this, I gotta do it. But that blows. Well, do you have kids at all or no? Yeah, two kids. Yeah. They love the they love the cars. Yeah, I mean they they are just you, we're going slow. I mean, <laughs> you know. So see, that's how uh, I have two. Also, I got an 11 year old daughter and a, a three, which will be four next month or a couple weeks actually. But the 11 year old, like, she wants nothing to do with cars. It's so boring. So we don't even like bring her to car events anymore. Like she'll stay at home with grandma. And, but the four year old, like, there's times when she's like, "Daddy, can you race? Can you race?" Like just me flooring, and she calls that racing. Yeah. Daddy, oh, that was, you know, you have a lot of horsepower. Your car has a lot of horsepower. <laughs> Mommy's car has a lot of horsepower. I'm like, ah, not really. It kind of does. Well, Mommy has a race car, her blue race car, your green race car. And we go, like, we're leaving the house, and the Evo's blue, and our Jeep Renegade is orange. I'm like, which car do you want to take? She's like, um, the green race car. Like, you don't want to take the orange Jeep? No, I don't like the orange Jeep. <laughs> it's like, oh, come on. She's like, no, I don't like the orange car. It's not a race car. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And because like my wife and my kids like coming around with it you know, all the time if I'm ever on the highway and there's somebody next to me it's like I can't I'm not gonna do anything I have my kids in the car so it's always like bad timing and yeah yeah because you can only go you can only do so much with that yeah. car. car is so loud yeah. God, this is like now I get it <laughs> these things are it's comfortable, it's smooth, the, the, like the material, everything in here is like... Yeah, it's I like this thing a lot. It's, it's funny because when I got both kids and the wife, we take this car. Yeah. Okay? When it's my wife and I, we take the ZL1. The ZL1 is like a fighter jet. Yeah. You're, yeah. you're confined in there, you're, the seats wrap you. Yeah. Um, but this but is... Even like looking at it from the side, like I remember the like first time I saw the newer Camaro, I remember looking, I'm like, it looks like a dart. Like, it just looks tight, compact, and... Yeah. It's, it's a totally different type of experience, but this is... This is fun. Yeah. It's just like, always, huh? <laughs> They say there's there's flaps in the exhaust. And yeah, I think them are always open. Always open. Okay. But this is a fun car to drive. Oh yeah. This is. But I'll tell you, having both of them, the ZL1 is a way better car. And it's not because I favor Chevy over Dodge. It's just when you have both and you can drive both any way you want. Yeah. But they're both a lot of fun. This though, this is like, I mean, I think it's just the smoothness of it, of how, how smooth it rides. Yeah. I would think, like, to daily drive one of these, probably an automatic, just so it's... Well, I would daily drive the Hellcat over the ZL1, because getting in and out, just, yeah. just the space, everything. It's not top of it again. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah, I, I really like this thing, man. Thanks, man. Thank you for letting me drive it. Oh, no problem. <laughs> All right, so we're back at the shop here and uh, just drove the white one, six-speed manual, and I got to say, I, I get it now. I know why these Hellcats are uh, selling like hotcakes, because that, that thing is smooth, it's fast, it's comfortable. Uh, I don't know, kind of kind of wish I had one. Not to replace my car, but just, uh, just to have one in general, because they are, that is nice. He actually had to run, so he's going to take off. Now I gotta talk Paul into letting me drive his thousand horsepower uh, eight-speed auto, but we'll see about that. We'll see if he'll let me drive it. All right, so now we're gonna take a cruise in the eight-speed automatic, thousand horsepower, purple Hellcat. And he gave me the red key, so let's hop in and go for a cruise. All right, so now we're here in the purple Hellcat, which is an auto, so don't need to worry about shifting. But this one's a thousand horsepower, so start her up. A lot louder than the other one. So we've got red key in use. Here, um, here. I don't think 
AC will kill this thing's power too much, right? The other uh, difference between this one and the white one is he's got black seat belts. The other guy had the white seat, or the red seat belts. Yeah. Are these Brembo brakes on these Hellcats standard? I, I think like so. Huge. Yeah. I didn't know if it was an option or not. I don't know. His brake calipers are purple. Yeah. Which I, I don't know. If, Jesus, it's like surging. It's like it doesn't want to be parked. <laughs> So I don't know if they're wanting to get gas or what. Is that all those Jordans like surging like that? No. I don't know if, uh... I didn't know if you were waiting for them to come up. Oh, well, I was. I don't know if he killed the car again. <laughs> oh, did he stall before? Yeah, well he stalled when we were like leaving the parking lot originally. Thumbs up. That oh, means Danny? we can do what we want. <laughs> <laughs>
not big and floaty. It, not not at all like I expected this no. car to be. Yeah, I I had seriously like an image in my head that these things would just be a big boat with power spinning the tires, but actually rides smoothly. This one's a little different because he's lowered, but is it lowered? Okay. Yeah, and the drag radios, but. Just the legal limit, it's perfect. Yeah. Which is what, 30, is that 35%? 35, yeah. Oh, it's not bad. <laughs> it's worth it though. <laughs> you can sleep in the car, you can't yeah. drive a house, right? <laughs> posted a video a snap of all their cars and I said guess guess which one has the most horsepower uh, and she said she knows it's the Hellcat but there's two Hellcats unless you did it without the white one there uh no it was with the white okay. one okay so yeah it's still <laughs> this thing okay this has 14,000 miles that other one he had like 2,400 miles he said he had 2,400 on the Camaro too This thing actually, aside from being crazy loud, its mannerisms are fairly <coughs> tame when you're just cruising. Very straightable, yeah. Yeah. It's not doing the surge thing anymore. That's that. I guess it's just the same as me. Huh. Oh, that's right. You can start and suck up these cars because the first is relatively useless. <laughs> I, like, I thought mine was kind of loud, but now this is like... It sounds like a siren. <laughs> Yours is a Whipple, right? Yeah. I bet uh, probably mine is not super loud because mine's not spinning super fast at lower RPMs, whereas he's got a pulley, so his is right. really cranking. I think even like LT4s are kind of loud too, aren't they? It, now that you, now that we did the pulley, you hear it a little bit, but nothing like this. Uh, C1. Although we did the lower pulley, not the uh, lower oh, pulley, okay. so that may have something to do with it too. But. Does he have like an open air intake now, or is it still in a box? Like, uh, it's still in a box. The oh, okay. uh, it's the hall, I think he went with the hall tech. So you you say this is a thousand horsepower? I mean, it feels like 943. If I had to, if I had to guess, and it's a little. Well, right now, where you're driving it, it's only 820 to the wheel, so yeah, you're probably uh, about right. Well, I put it in, uh, I put it in like neutered dog mode, where it was like 112 horsepower, and it still pulled pretty good. But you know. Yeah. <laughs> now this thing, this thing's insane. This I love this thing. They both like you could tell, definitely tell a difference between this and the stick shift one. It's like. Yeah. I honestly, I'd, I'd want both. I'd want both of them. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I want them all. Yeah. I need to get myself like a big ass car condo so I can put them all somewhere. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Now there is an auto GT500 that one that runs nines, right? Yeah. Because they watch your videos and they're like, damn dude, auto's the way to go. Family cruising told me so. I'll hear this time. Do we have a hand job signal or <laughs> the thing I didn't adjust the seat height in either of these cars, but I feel like my head's like on the ceiling. <laughs> got it felt kind of boring to me too you know like you said it just because you kind of get used to all these high horsepower cars yeah but then when he did the intake fully in tune it like really woke that car up Just drove the uh, purple Hellcat with the automatic, and uh, not too much to see here that you haven't already seen with the Hellcat, but definitely. Uh, oh, he's got the, the green belt. That's a huge belt. <laughs> he's got the filter, leg maker intake. Hmm. I don't know. I see. I see a case for both an auto and a stick. They're both fun. Uh, obviously, this one's more fun. It's got a lot more power, but. Even just cruising around, the uh, the uh, stick car wasn't intimidating. It was actually surprisingly easy to drive. It's not like the GT500 is. And uh, I think it's probably because they, well, I don't know. I don't know what the reason is. It's just a lot easier to drive. So definitely, uh, if you get an opportunity to drive one or both, do it. It's a lot of fun. And I think there's going to be a lot of these on the market used down the road because they sold a lot of them. So. I don't know, but I just want to uh, thank Paul, family cruising. Uh, his info will be down below, but I want to thank him for letting me drive this car because it's definitely a monster. And uh, his friend Steven, who's got the white one that I drove, he had to take off though. And those were definitely uh, one hell of a fun way to spend my day off from work. So even though I'm at work, this is where I work, 
Uh, didn't have to do that today, so doing work on YouTube instead. But as always, if you just stopped in for the first time and you uh, haven't seen my videos before, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button at the bottom. Give this one a thumbs up, and we'll check you out next time.